Hey guys, welcome to Vesna TV. Thank you so much for stopping by. For today's DIY, I'm bringing to you five different Dollar Tree DIYs, all using either the crates or those tumble blocks. So they'll be very inexpensive, very quick and easy, and they'll look great for the fall. And I also have a bonus fall DIY at the end. It's kind of like a fall DIY, but it could be used for anything because it's more of like a useful DIY. So make sure you stay around until the very end to see what this cool DIY is. And thank you so much. For this first DIY, you're going to need one of those crates and some pumpkin orange acrylic paint. And you're just going to paint out the crate in this orange color. Obviously, you can do any color that you'd like, but for this, all I did was paint it out in orange. This is a super easy, really quick DIY. So I did paint the entire piece in the orange, the back, the front, the bottom, the inside, and everywhere. So once you have it all painted, then you want to find a stem. You can use the little birch stems that they have at the Dollar Tree, or you can just go into a park or a backyard and find a little piece of a branch and just stick on the stem at the top. I just hot glued it to the top, and then I made a little bow with raffia at the top. And then at the bottom, I put the raffia as well. I didn't hot glue it. I just kind of made little... piles and just put them in there and then I put one of these little Dollar Tree pumpkins in there and that is the entire DIY really easy and I did find out a cool little thing I apologize there's a plane flying we'll wait for it to pass there must be like an air show or something because there's been so many of them anyway uh, I did find one of those hula hoop skirts at the Dollar Tree and that's what I'm using for my raffia because it goes such a long way. And that is all there is to this. And here is the completed DIY. So for the next DIY, you're going to need a pack of these tumble blocks. They had the pack of 72 for a buck 25 at the Dollar Tree and I was so excited because I haven't been able to find any tumble blocks and then to find two for one basically, it was awesome. They didn't have a lot of them, I bought a few, but it was great. Now I believe we'll be using the tumble blocks for three of my DIYs and this method that I'm doing right now I'm going to be using for two of the DIYs. So what I'm doing is kind of making little squares from the tumble blocks. So I'm putting three vertically then below the vertical ones I'm putting three horizontal and then beside I'm doing the opposite. So if you're starting with horizontal then you're going to do vertical beside and horizontal underneath and so on. And then I'm just hot gluing them together now I found that my hot glue isn't the best, so make sure you use like a Gorilla Glue or something a little bit stronger. I'm not sure which hot glue this was, but I had to kind of go back and re-glue them, so just keep that in mind. You could use a combination of hot glue and wood glue if you wanted to. So originally I was going to make these coasters and I was going to wood burn on them, but I had a really hard time wood burning, so I gave that up. Then I was going to use some rub-on stickers on these, but I couldn't use them because the... It wasn't a flat smooth surface like one smooth piece and it did they did not want to stick on them for some reason so then i went back and i just whitewashed them with some brown espresso paint but unfortunately i don't have the footage of me doing that but here's what they looked like raw you could totally leave them like this and had i originally gone this way i would have left them this way but i had already kind of white uh, like wash them with the brown paint so I decided to press some leaves from the garden so I pressed these for about a week in a book and now I'm going to Mod Podge them on here I put little risers on them as well but I'm just Mod Podging the bottom and then the top of the leaf and I'm leaving it overnight to dry and it kind of sticks the leaf leaves on there and makes them protected with that Mod Podge. You could do this with resin. I will try this with resin, but I didn't I didn't want to want this to be my resin project. So um, this is just a simple and very inexpensive way just with Mod Podge, some leaves and some tumble blocks.
So I just did go ahead and I added those little risers on them as well so you can see the wood burning part that didn't turn out. And this will just kind of give them a lift and you can still use them as coasters or it'll help them stand up in a tray if you wanted to use them as a tray decor piece. Here they are completed. So for this DIY, I'm using those same tumble blocks. I will have to get another pack as well because it's not going to be enough for this entire piece. And I'm making the same type of squares that I was making before. So three horizontally all glue together, three vertically all glue together. And what I actually did for this one, I just glued three pieces together several times and then I created my large square. So once they were assembled, I it was time to kind of put it together and make one big square. So as you can see, I have several pieces now. It really depends how big you want to make this. I made it kind of semi-big. Made it a little bit bigger than the coasters. I mean, the wood bamboo wood cutting boards. And I used 14 sets of three for this little piece but again you do it how big you need to make this so it's really up to you maybe you don't have as many tumble blocks and you just want to use up one pack and that's it so as in the previous diy i just put them together three horizontal three vertical three horizontal three vertical and i kept the pattern going until i got the size that i wanted so again i used hot glue i wound up switching out the hot glue a little bit and you can use the wood glue hot glue combination and once it was all set i wound up whitewashing it so i whitewashed it with some white acrylic paint with like a little drop of water just so it was a little bit more diluted i found this deco art chalk paint at one of our dollar stores it wasn't a dollar it was i think like three dollars or something or two and a half dollars for a little bottle and i thought i'd give it a try and it was a, it's a really nice paint to work with and it's great just for like a little project and by diluting it with water it went even further so once uh I finished that and it was all dry then I wanted to kind of decorate it and make it for fall I saw something on Pinterest with some pumpkin there's like a pumpkin floral arrangement and then I thought this would be a great little DIY that you could do for fall for Christmas for summer and what I did was I took some of these pumpkins off of this stem. So I bought this at the Dollar Tree this year. They did have it last year too. Maybe this was left over from last year. But I love these because they're little pumpkins on a vine. And I put them together. And then I hot glued a piece of Velcro to the square. And that way I can change it up with the seasons. So this is like a great multi-purpose DIY and it's so easy to do and really inexpensive. So I put the pumpkins together with floral wire and then I bought this little pumpkin ribbon at the Dollar Tree and I hot glued the pumpkins together then I wrapped some floral wire around them and then I just made a bow just kind of like you tie a shoelace with this pumpkin ribbon and then I hot glued one piece of the velcro to the pumpkins and one piece to the board that way you can easily remove them and put them back depending on the season So I realized I'm missing the footage of where I hot glued the Velcro. So I'll just show you right here what, how I glued it to the bouquet and how I glued it to the board. Just so that way you have an idea of what exactly I did in case I'm not explaining it well. Because sometimes I have a hard time explaining things. So I also added in the back just a part of a, like a stir stick, just little bits of pieces of wood just to help it hold better and some little wood pieces for the legs so that it could stand up. And here's the finished piece. Mm -hmm. 
So here I'll just put together some pumpkins again with the tumble blocks. And what I need is three different size of pumpkins. I like to make sometimes things in threes. So what I'm doing is making a large pumpkin, a medium sized pumpkin and a small pumpkin. For the large pumpkin, you need obviously the most tumble blocks. First one that I'm making here is the medium size one. And for this one, so you need a total of nine tumble blocks and I've kind of put them on here the way that I'm going to be gluing them. So one goes at the top and then you put two kind of on top of that one and then you put three on top of the two and then you put two on top of the three and then one on top of the two, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to speed it up just so you guys can kind of see what I mean by this. And then I'm going to do that for each of them just for just less as I make each one for the smallest one I did have to cut the tumble blocks in half So the first one that I did was the medium one and then I moved on to do the largest one. I did the medium first so I could kind of get an idea of how big I wanted to make each one. For the largest one I did the same concept except I added two together uh, vertically. So I had one on top of the other and then I did my... So instead of just doing it with one tumble block I did it with two tumble blocks one on top of the other and then I did the one row, two rows, three rows, two rows, one row.
So for the small, smallest pumpkin, I wound up having to cut these tumble blocks in half. Now my husband did have to do this for me because as you guys know, I broke my arm recently and I just got my cast off, but I still don't have full strength in my arm. So he wound up cutting them for me. You can use either a miter box or those miter shears. If you do use the miter shears, you have to kind of like flip it over because they're not strong enough to cut all the way through. He wound up using a miter box just because it was easier. Just be very careful because the blocks are so little that it's hard to do do that with the like I mean you have to be super super careful now I did see some of my friends who are on YouTube they have the little it's like a mini mini miter saw it's really really small that would be perfect for this unfortunately to get it in Canada it was like it was more expensive than to get a big like big machine so I didn't order it but they do have it hopefully one day if it's not too too expensive I can get it but for now I'll either use the husband or once my arm is back then I can use my arm so I did the same type of idea with these I did the one and then two three two one except they were all just cut in half So then once I finished gluing them all together, I bought these little pegs at the Dollar Tree and I just added them as the stems for the pumpkins. And then I went ahead and I painted the pumpkins out. So I did them in like a bluish green color, a white color, and a pine green color with mixed with black. So I love making all sorts of DIYs and I love the seasonal decor. So I'm just wondering if you guys could let me in the com let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see some Halloween decorations, a lot of Halloween decorations or no Halloween decorations? I'm kind of wondering. I'll probably do a poll on my community tab as well, but if you can just leave me a message below, I will do one or two videos but I'm just wondering how much I should focus on for September. I will continue on with doing a few more fall DIYs for sure and then I'm also going to throw in a few IKEA hacks just because I've been doing a bit of renovations in our in my house and I wanted to show you well not I weave me and my husband he loves it when I say I've been doing it and he's been doing a lot of the work so the two of us have been doing some renovations and I kind of want to show you some of the IKEA hacks that we did so I'll throw some of those in there but I'm just wondering are you interested in seeing how Halloween decorations let me know in the comments below so then finally once I painted all of these I just used the leaves from that little bouquet that I made with the pumpkins and I cut off some of the leaves that were left over and I just glued them to the top so it looks like it's a stem with a leaf and I just went over lightly with like just some espresso brown paint over top of the stems just to give them a little bit more of a brown color not such a light color you should probably do this before I just forgot and then I thought it would look okay but it was too too light So here they are all completed. For this next DIY, I'm using one of those crates again and I'm using my Paradise Blue acrylic paint with a little bit of brown espresso paint in the container that had the orange paint. So there's still a little bit of orange on there. And I'm mixing those colors together to get just like a nice little muted bluish greenish brownish color it's more like a blue green and I'm painting the crate out again all over inside um, and on the outside so 
So once it's painted and it dries, I have these little rub-on stickers from Dollar Tree. And I'm just doing the Hello Autumn on one side and then I'm doing the pumpkins on the other side. And then I will be writing in the word pumpkin in kind of like a skinny Ray Dunn type of font. I've learned to always do it in pencil first and then go over top with my Sharpie because I tend to make little oopsies or little mistakes. So I just go over top of everything and then I fill this little crate with raffia. Remember that hula hoop skirt? That's what I fill it up with. And I put some of those little pumpkins with the clips in there, but I remove the clips and that's all there is to this DIY. Really simple. I can't even really call it a DIY. Maybe it's like an upcycle. and. It's just very cute. So if you do have those rub-on stickers, they're great. Get them and you can kind of add them as embellishments to anything. Yeah, of course, if you have a Cricut, you can always use your Cricut to cut out pictures. So here it is finished. I wound up switching out the pumpkins for these uh, checkered pumpkins and these orange pumpkins from the bouquet. So I wanted to include this bonus DIY because I thought it was so cool. So I bought these pie pans from the Dollar Tree as well as these barrels and I had some rocks and then I went and I bought some of the Thermaglow chaf chafing fuel and I'm going to paint out the pie pans in this high heat rust-oleum spray paint, hot glue them on top of the barrels, Add the rocks, add that chafing gel, and create a mini fire pit. I think this is like a great little thing to just set like that campfire mood. And it provides a little bit of heat if you have like a nice little space and you're just sitting around it. And I made two of them for our back deck. And I love them. And I think it was Do It On A Dime that made this video and kind of gave me the idea. She used something slightly different, but same type of idea. So these are things that you can always get at the Dollar Tree. And even the mini barrel planters, you can get all sorts of planters at the Dollar Tree. So great little idea for a mini fire pit. And I thought with the fall weather getting cooler, this would be, even though it's not a fall DIY, like a fall home decor, but it's a very useful DIY for fall. Here they are all lit up with lighting. And then I'll show you what they kind of look like with the lights off and a flash and then no flash just so you get an idea. It looks really cool and just gives that nice little campfire atmosphere. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And please let me know in the comments below about the Halloween DIYs and also let me know which one you like the best. So thank you so much and we will see you next Sunday at the next DIY.